Hey guys, I'm Lucky Man back here for another video. Guys, waiting to make this video until I let one of my friends play Madden 22 franchise mode. Now, the, my friend plays Madden 22 franchise every, or Madden franchise every single year. And I do too. I make videos on it. But this guy plays it religiously. We're talking about every game he plays. He runs 15 minute quarters every single time. He doesn't do anything pretty much for four months a year. He just plays Madden franchise. Okay. So this guy, you know, he's been playing since Madden 07. I've been playing obviously since Madden 01. We go back and forth when it comes to our knowledge for franchise mode. We love franchise mode. So I wanted to kind of get his thoughts and opinions before we went ahead and made a video about franchise mode. Because I can only give so much. Again, thoughts and opinion wise. So he played it and his opinion was as followed he said it's finally something different the features they added he didn't think that he wanted or would have asked for but they were nice features that they added um and you know it's a little bit more in depth and he likes it i mean he is the guy who complains more than i do about madden at this point saying it's the same copy and paste game every single year and he's tired of buying it but he actually said this franchise mode update is worth buying in his opinion. So that is a plus, plus, plus. So let's go ahead and talk about franchise mode and what's new. Well, first off, franchise mode is completely different. I'm actually in this game right here looking at Madden 21 franchise mode. Obviously, I can't show off anything on Madden 22 beta, so I'm not. Um, nonetheless, though, he... Um, so it's completely different. The whole entire interface... I kind of don't like the interface. Uh, he loved the interface. It's just really confusing to me. Like, I think I'm just so used to the copy and paste of Madden franchise mode that the fact they use a new interface kind of just was like, wait, what? Uh, you know, because in the past it was like you had under league, you had your standings, your news, and all your stuff like that. You still have everything as normal except for your standings now is under where you like actually play the game. And it's just a little weird. We kind of took a little bit of time figuring stuff out but once you figure out where everything is it should be a pretty simple you know ride when it comes to playing franchise mode um i will say the presentation now of the game obviously exhibition games have been a lot better they put a lot more detail in presentation which was surprising especially because we were playing a beta and the beta usually doesn't have the presentation style as you know good as you know it usually is when the game actually comes out but that was a plus but overall from the actual franchise mode uh you now have um instead of having just like you click on like let's say um like oh questions with the media instead of just clicking on that and you get like a prompt of three different answers you now actually it's actually animated you see a coach on the podium the media asks you questions there's no dialogue so you don't really see what the, they're saying oh sorry you don't hear what they're saying but you see what they're saying so they ask you a question you answer and then depending on what you know you answer obviously your goal is set now i do like the fact it's animated now it makes it a little bit more realistic and live like that is definitely a welcoming plus other than that, if you go ahead and go to your, uh, something I actually added in this year's game was when you go ahead and go to league history, it shows you everything from, you know, that franchise. So once you start that franchise until you end that franchise, you can see every little detail, like who was the MVP, who was coach year, all that kind of stuff. Well, on Madden 22, it's little and not really big deal, but it's awesome at the same time. You can actually go back to the very first Super Bowl in 1967 and see exactly who won it every single year since 1967. You can see the MVP, the coach of the year, offense, defense, player of the year, all that kind of good stuff. It's a lot more in-depth in that category. The legacy uh, stuff is more in-depth. I like it very, very much. Now, also, another key factor in this and really cool is on the right-hand side, you can actually see your passer passing leaders you can see it's passing tack like your leading tacklers you know your whole entire every single category pretty much you can see the next gen stats and that's what they really geared this toward is next gen is next gen stats you can see every little detail of next gen stats as you do play franchise mode as you do play each and every single week i do like that obviously 18, 18 game season is added with madden franchise mode as it is in real life so that is a you know welcoming feature i will say um the staff management is interesting uh right now obviously everything is still under development so it's not as in-depth or detailed as it will be when it does come out i have heard that scouting somebody commented down below and told me scouting will be improved in september i have to wait to see on that one uh but i will say that it definitely 
scouting exactly the same, but staff management is interesting. So now you actually have uh, coaching trees and the tree coaching tree is pretty much instead of just having like, you know, one generalized list of things you go like, you know, master trader or whatever, or master um, scout or whatever. And so having that, which you do have that, but you also have more in depth broken down of like, you know, how you can, um, your coach can be upgraded and it's a lot more detailed. Now, when it comes to firing, hiring your coaches right now, it's still in the beta, but you can fire any coach, offense coordinator or defense coordinator. I don't think you can fire GM, but you can fire any of those guys. And that is cool. I will say that's a really cool addition. Um, depending on who you want to pick up. Right now, it's not too many people you can pick up, but I'm going to guess in the future and probably off seasons, you know, if a coach is available, you can pick up that coach, uh, which is really, really uh, dope, I will say. Uh, it kind of makes you want to turn on the coach firing feature because, like, you, you want a chance to see if, hey, if this coach is available, maybe I'll go ahead and go after him. You know, you never know. So, I will say that makes it a lot more in-depth. Um... Other than that, you know, obviously, like I said, free agency is exactly the same. A lot of things are exactly the same. Uh, the draft is exactly the same. Nothing different there. It's a welcome change. And like I said, you know, how my friend kind of described it is there's a lot of things added that he, th he never thought he wanted, but they were nice additions. And it's something new, something different. And I think that's all we really wanted as a franchise community here in Madden was something new. We just wanted EA to say, oh, not just do the same copy and paste every single year as they do and actually change it up in some way. And that's what they did. That's what EA did. EA changed it up in the factor that they added something that is new, original, and it's a welcome change. I will say that. I mean... The final beta, I'm sorry, way down one beta, so the final edition of the game will come out. And who knows, maybe it'll be even better than this. Maybe it'll be absolutely amazing. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm hoping they add, even add on more to this because this is a step in the right direction for EA Sports. You know, a lot of times I will trash on EA, and I think a lot of people do, and I think it's justified for very, very, uh, you know, good reason. But at the same time, though, this is something that they did good. And it's a W, I will say. I love the, I love the franchise mode of Madden 22 so far. Um, and, yeah, definitely will say, you know, scouting needs to be improved. They need to do a little bit more in-depth with scouting. Like, you know, actually seeing more storylines about the player. Getting more details about the player. And really just, you know, knowing the player before going and drafting this player. And also, I, want, I hope they put in more, like, actual, like, you know, hidden potential players. Like, you know, players in late, late rounds that like, could have hidden potential to be great. So, tell me down below, guys, thoughts and opinions. Are you excited about Madden 22? I will say, you know, after playing it a lot more and kind of playing it with him and getting his thoughts and opinions, my initial opinion of 22 franchise mode was a B-. minus. I'm probably going to move that to a B+. Plus. Uh, after more in-depth scouting of it, I'm going to say it's a B+. Plus, and I think it definitely is warrant if you are just buying Madden 22 for the franchise mode. You're not going to be disappointed. You're really not. I will definitely say that. Anyway, guys, thank so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.